Hey there, beautiful souls. This is Ona with Art of Awakening, and I am just coming to you with a little taste of beauty for this. I'm recording this on a Sunday morning outside of Munising, Michigan, and I'm, uh, I don't even know where I am. I'm somewhere near the Pictured Rocks, um, whatever it's called, Pictured Rocks National wildlife whatever refuge anyway um i'm in the sort of middle of the freaking woods and it's beautiful and i just wanted to share with you a little bit um you know kind of what i'm experiencing i've never been on this trail before it's just sort of a, a logging road through the woods i don't know where we're going we're just going to find out so <laughs> join me if you want so here we are and i thought maybe we'd just start with a little bit of silence listen to the birds And I'm just going to start down the path here. We'll see see where it takes us. It's been a, kind of a long, long haul, long cold winter this winter up here. And we're finally getting spring. It's June 2nd. <laughs> Sometimes that's the way it goes. And I think for some of us, it's been a long haul. Yeah, this awakening process isn't always easy, but there's a lot of beauty along the way. And kind of thinking about beauty, I think a lot of us have just denied ourselves beauty in a lot of ways beauty in our lives when you think about it beauty's an important thing oh there's a lake <laughs> I didn't even know there was going to be a lake this is great beauty is food for the soul And if you look at uh, even just the, the everyday objects that we use, if you look at like the, the old fashioned things, they're all like decorated. <laughs> um, wow, look at that. You can see the sun sparkling on the lake. at old buildings and they've got all those little details. Like sometimes even the doorknobs are beautifully decorated. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. Just the light on the water. So there's, there's a lot of, you know, our, our culture likes functionality and, and efficiency. And, you know, that's good. I mean, I think if you look at nature, nature is very functional and efficient. And I love to pattern everything after nature, because I think nature is the ultimate template for how to live. Nature just teaches us how to live, how to live in a beautiful way. And nature is so extremely functional and efficient. But everything in nature is beautiful, too. They're not mutually exclusive. In fact, I would... <laughs> I would almost think that beauty... Beauty and efficiency go hand in hand. Because beauty allows you to kind of relax into it. There's no tension. You know, it's not that everything that's beautiful <laughs> is... I, 
I guess it's not Pollyanna, right? I mean, sad things can be beautiful. Sometimes the the, the most beautiful things are 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 sad. I mean, look at those flowers. I'm gonna take you and show you. These are forget-me-nots and yellow violets. And they're only here. They're only here with us for a few days. Right? And it's kind of sad, right? There's beauty and it's it's not going to be here long. But that's, hi Jazz. Um, it's part of the beauty of it, right? Is that it's transitory. And we know that. So we appreciate it all the more. Each moment is such a transitory thing. But I think, you know, each moment, if we really live it, can be beautiful. And I think sometimes we just rush through our days. I know I do. <laughs> Even if I don't feel rushed, sometimes it's the other way around. Sometimes it's like, is this day ever going to end? You know, or is this project ever going to end or whatever it is? And it's like we're, we're not thinking about the beauty in it. Or we're so caught up in whatever it is that we think we ought to do that we forget to look for the beauty. And I think that's, <laughs> that's the tragic part. We forget to look for the beauty. We forget to realize that there is beauty in life. And we're so focused on whatever it is that we're supposed to do or we think we're supposed to do <laughs> that we forget how important it is to have beauty in our lives and we we sacrifice the beauty for for whatever whatever it is illusion maybe but if it's not beautiful What's the point? <laughs> you know? So, here we go. Something jumped in the water. I don't know if you heard that big plop. Anyway, I'm just going to leave you here. With just a little bit of a, a little bit more beauty, let me pull you in here and, oops, little critter. There's the lovely green of the, the reeds and the blue. And just an encouragement today to take a little time and invite, invite beauty into your life. Okay, so hope you've enjoyed. Love you all. And catch you again later.